So welcome to this week's Often Health Current Facebook Live. And this week I wanted to talk about um, a fairly simple question, which has, let's say, some fairly complicated answers, which is what stops people healing from ME, chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia? And where this question comes from is so often when people are, are sick and they're looking for help and they come to the clinic or wherever else that they go, the question that's normally on people's minds is what caused me to get ill in the first place? And there tends to be a lot of focus and emphasis on trying to understand what are the circumstances and the factors and the things that caused us to get sick. And that can be an important question and making sense of that and understanding that definitely has its place. But many people have been sick for many, many years. And someone might come in and they've been ill for, let's say, 10 years. And the factors that caused them to get sick 10 years ago may be very different to the variables and the factors that are happening in their life now. And so the question of what caused me to get sick, why am I in this situation, is not always all that helpful. What it tends to do is give us more information about what happened in the past as opposed to information about what's happening right now. The question of what stops people healing is much more focused on the now, but it also has a fundamental um, assumption, really, that, that underlies it. And that assumption is that the body has a natural capacity and instinct towards healing. If we break a leg and we, you know, the bone is set in the right way and we rest it and we give it time, that break will heal. If we get a cut and we keep that cut clean and if we need stitches, we have stitches, that cut will heal. Fundamentally, that healing process, there's not something that, that medicine will do to accelerate or make happen that healing process. The medical intervention will tend to be to get things out of the way that may be stopping that healing process, like keeping a cut clean so it doesn't get infected, or getting a bone set in the right place so it heals in the right place. The body has a remarkable capacity towards healing. When something has a series of events has caused someone to get sick, and often you know, we talk about the analogy of like loads on a boat, and you have too many loads on that boat at once and then the boat starts to sink and then you have the new load of trying to deal with a sinking boat and that tends to be a tipping point. So the what causes us is different to what's stopping us from healing and recovering at this point in time. And what stops us from healing, of course, can be a number of different things. It can be big things happening with our body, like making sense, and often this is a significant part of the picture, making sense of what's happening on a systems level which is affecting our energy production, affecting our hormones, affecting our digestion, affecting our immune system, and all those kind of pieces. And that's the piece that often we tend to get heavily focused on, and rightly so. But then it's also understanding our mind and our emotions. And we've obviously talked in lots of these videos around that. There's lots more we could say about it, but I think people kind of understand that. It's then looking at our environment, it's looking at our um, emotional environment, our physical environment, our practical environment, it's looking at um, the support that's around us, and seeing if there's anything in that which is getting in the way of affecting our healing. It's then looking at things like pacing, it's looking at bouncing the boundaries, it's looking at the amount of activity we're taking on and if we're working with our body in that process of um, recovery. And so on one hand, what I'm saying here is nothing different to what I've said, um, I'm sure, many times before in, in, in these different videos. But there's a particular emphasis that I guess that I'm leaning towards with, with this video, which is really asking your, looking at through the lens of what's happening on your, on your recovery path, of not what happened when you first got sick, although that can be important, but right now in your life, what potentially is obstructing or in the way of your body's natural capacity towards healing. To use a different analogy, it's like having a bar of soap in the bath, and you pull that bar of soap underwater, if you let go, it will naturally float. The body has a natural instinct towards healing. Often it needs some help and some support, and I'm not in any way trying to undermine the value of, of, of that when it's appropriate. But the point I'm really making is what is in the way 
of your body's natural capacity. And sometimes it's a case of taking those blocks or taking those things that are in the way, taking some of those things out of our life. Could, that could be people, that could be things we're doing too much of, that could be particular thought processes, um, that could be particular foods, but what are the things that are obstructing and in the way of our body's natural healing process? There's many answers to that. Um, that's something that I'm sure if you're working with a practitioner forming part of that exploration, but it's a really helpful question to, um, to ask yourself. So reflect on that. Feel free to share um, other um, uh, share questions, comments, um, share your experiences, your thoughts. You know, one of the things that can very much support the healing process is community. And I know that's one of the things that um, you guys get from each other, so encouraging comments. Um, and if someone wants to start a thread in the uh, community group, then that might also be a good place to have some discussion exploration there as well. So I'm just looking at the day. I'm sure there'll be at least a Facebook Live next week, maybe one the week after. It depends on what things are looking like as we get near Christmas. Um, but I hope that's been useful, and um, thanks for watching today.